The Foreigner. The Foreigner is the new action spy thriller starring Jackie Chan and Pierce Brosnan. It's directed by Martin Campbell. He's directed Pierce Brosnan before in uh, GoldenEye. He also yeah. did Casino Royale. Mm -hmm. And this is a new kind of uh, Jackie Chan performance. It's not his usual kind of half action, half comedy slapstick self. He takes more serious tone in this one. So what do you think yeah. about... Let's just start with Jackie Chan's performance in this one. Nate, what do you think? I, I like Jackie Chan in general. I think he's really charismatic, even when he's trying to be funny. But also I think he showed a lot of emotional depth in The Karate Kid. I thought he was one of the better things about the Karate Kid, the yeah. remake. And in this one, he does the same. I think he tells a lot with his face. I think he, he's a very expressionist face, and I think he's a good actor in general, and I felt his emotion when he had his loss in this movie. Yeah, I think that he did a good job, too, handling the drama. And I knew I wasn't going to go and see a typical Jackie Chan movie. This isn't really a Jackie Chan movie. It's no. an action thriller starring Jackie Chan. Yeah. And I do like his performance. I think he really gave some depth and showed that he does have a good dramatic side to him. Yeah. Yes, I'm used to him, you know, making me kicking laugh. And the, yeah, kicking ass in the middle of a fight yeah. scene. But once again, this wasn't your usual Jackie Chan movie where he's like, this invincible super martial yeah. arts master. Like, yeah. he took some licks, you know. The guys he fought with went toe to toe with him. Yeah, and I think that it showed his age a little bit. Like, obviously, he's well trained. His character is well trained as mm -hmm. well. But I think that his age and being out of that world after a while uh, showed him to be a little bit more vulnerable to some of his adversaries in this movie. So, yeah, yeah he, he definitely gets his ass kicked a little bit in this film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, let's, so let's just go right into the action of yeah. this. Uh, what'd you think about the <clears throat> action? It wasn't as martial arts heavy as I expected it to be just no. because it was just Jackie Chan. I thought it came with that expectation and it didn't really deliver on that. Right. But there was action. What did you think? There was action. Uh, there was there was very few moments where I was like, cool. But other than that, I thought the action was pretty lackluster. It was very bomb oriented, which I didn't see coming. I really didn't... This movie just sort of... I, I thought it was going to be something different than it was. And the action, there wasn't that much of it. And when it was on screen, it was nothing stand out. Yeah, this movie was kind of advertised as like, like Jackie, Jackie Chan's back, back. Yeah. like yeah, like his version of Taken almost. Yeah, and so it was marketed as an action movie, and so you expect it to be more action in it, but the action was kind of sparse. Um, yeah. I don't think it was very well punctuated, mm -mm. and that gets into my big complaint with this movie, which would be the pacing. Yeah, this movie kind of lags, and <laughs> more than once, kind of boring. It, yeah, and <laughs> it just it, it just doesn't. I think the it's not that the movie was boring. I would say for me personally, it's just that this plot was completely convoluted yep. and overcomplicated. I know this is based on a book, and I'm sure they want to do the book justice. Yeah, but it seems like they had a script for a spy thriller. Then when they cast Jackie Chan in the lead role, they're like, all right, we got to put some action in it. Yeah, and I think that and they just didn't know what movie they wanted to make a spy thriller or an action. Movie. I know, and it really bothered me through the whole thing. I really wish I didn't know this was based on a book. So, I didn't know, like, it just, you're right, too many characters, too many plot points, too much just going on, where I thought this was going to be a cool personal revenge story of a person dealing with loss and taking justice into his own hands. And instead, we get more conversations with Pierce Brosnan constantly in this than we do any type of personal action. I never felt any redemption, because Jackie Chan is on screen like 20% of the time. He's just not in this enough. That's something I was going to bring up too. Uh, I feel like this was more Pierce Brosnan's movie than Jackie Chan. Definitely. Chan's movie. Pierce Brosnan is like on screen all the time. Yeah, and like Pierce Brosnan has like the world against him. Like, yeah. He, he plays a uh, uh, Scottish um, politician who has ties to the IRA. And so it's like he's dealing with these IRA bombers. He's dealing with the British government. He's dealing with Jackie Chan. He's dealing with things from his <laughs> wife. It's just like, it felt like he was more the protagonist almost, where it was the world was against him, but at the same time, he brought all this on himself, so you don't right. feel bad for him. Exactly. But you're right, Jackie Chan, he it just didn't feel like, like the third act, the first 20 minutes, he's nowhere to be He got sidelined hard yeah. in this movie, and he was the one I was rooting for. And this is, like, it seemed like this movie was trying so hard to be like, hey, audience, don't forget, you care about Jackie Chan. Remember him? He's still in this movie. Oh, wait, wait, here's the slime ball Pierce Brosnan, like, for another 45 minutes. And it bothered me because I wanted more Jackie Chan. I wanted more action. Uh, and I wanted to feel that redemption that Jackie Chan's character was looking for, and I never did. It never felt that much of a... There was conclusion to it, but it was just weak. The whole thing was just kind of weak. Yeah, it, his daughter died from a senseless act of violence. Yes. And so you figured that through this movie, Jackie Chan's redemption would like not bring some sense to it, but bring some justice to the people who cause senseless acts of violence. Yeah. And I didn't really get that closure. No. 
I didn't feel like he like really closed the loop. And at the end, this movie takes a while to end too. Another issue with the pacing. Yeah. It's just you felt like it was leading up to like maybe one more big climax, one more big action. Once again, just more dialogue. Movie more dialogue. Ends. More dialogue, and then you get a cool miniature action scene in an apartment. And then more dialogue for it to finish off. And, and that was probably the best action scene. It was. Easily the best action scene. It was cool because, oh, yes, Jackie Chan is taking props from the environment and hurting people with them. This is what I want. Whether it's serious taken or if it's fun, I just want Jackie Chan to do his thing, and I know he's physically capable. This guy's still got it. He's oh, still for fast sure. as hell. He's still really quick on his feet. Uh, but there just there wasn't enough. And once again, the marketing misled this movie completely. And that's a bother. That's too bad that filmmakers are getting people in the seats for one reason and then giving them some something completely different it's a huge bother to me yeah it seems like it's a sense of the studio seceding to the fact they didn't know what they wanted with this movie yeah all we wanted to make an adaptation of this spy thriller but we ended up with this kind of action movie let's lean on the action angle push the action and the marketing and it's just when the movie doesn't deliver you know you're not going to get good reviews you're not going to get Good word of oh, mouth. It's just going to be a disappointment. Buffs. All right, so you heard our thoughts on The Foreigner, and obviously there wasn't a whole lot great to say about this movie, but why don't you put a solid score on this one? Yeah, I, I can't say this is like a terrible movie, or it's really that bad. It's just that it was disappointing, and it was misleading through the marketing. What, when you got Jackie Chan, it was great. Even the scenes that he's not fighting, where he's just delivering dialogue and acting, he's pretty good, but you know, there's just not enough of him. Yeah. And it felt like, especially in the second half, it was more Pierce Brosnan's movie. It's very uneven, very imbalanced movie, so I'm just going to give it barely under a passing score. I'm going to give The Foreigner a 5.5 out of 10. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you and I are, we're feeling the same thing in the theater with this. You know, too long, it just it, poorly paced, and I just really didn't enjoy myself in this movie. There wasn't enough Jackie Chan, and there wasn't, wasn't enough of him for me to give this a high score, so I'm going to go a little bit lower with a 5 out of 10. I just, I didn't really like this movie very much. Yeah, if you're expecting some classic... Jackie Chan action, this is not the movie. Buffs. So that's it for our review of The Foreigner. What'd you guys think of the movie? What'd you think of Jackie Chan's performance? Being a little bit more dramatic this time. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate all the support at Cinema Buffs. Yeah, next week I'll be flying solo for the review of The Snowman, uh, starring Michael Fassbender. So I like nice... Fassbender. I'm going yeah. it. Yeah, so do I. And I think, you know, a nice dramatic whodunit thriller kind yeah. of thing. It'll be exciting, yeah, for sure. So check that one out next week, but don't you forget, there's no place like the theater.